name is Heidi Taifair and I'm a fine art painter in from Montreal, Quebec and I'm doing an exhibition at the Irvine Contemporary Gallery here in Washington DC called Muses and Heroes and it is a, a compilation of about 12 paintings and four or five drawings um, which are representative of a number of different themes ranging from animal rights issues to uh, themes that touch on the human condition such as fear or love and um, it is all done in a style that is symbolic or surrealistic in which um, there are elements that are combined together, symbolic elements that are combined together or biomechanical images that are put together to represent a person or an animal. And these are sort of uh, a, a contemporary interface to represent some of these universal themes. This painting is called The Muse, which is basically the star painting of the show because it's kind of driving the title of the show. Um, and The Muse is a painting on love or the search for love and um, the fears that are inherent in uh, love and the whole game of um, uh, intimacy or vulnerability and allowing oneself to fall in love. And in this case, the muse is the woman who is made up of all elements that are beautiful to banal to basically disgusting. <laughs> and uh, it's sort of like the good, the bad, and the ugly of uh, any individual that you're going to encounter. And um, the child on the horse is uh, an individual who wants to reach out for love but is not capable of accessing it or allowing himself to be vulnerable to it or to move forward and um, get what he essentially really needs. This painting over here is called Dante and Beatrice and it is after Dante's Inferno, where Dante survives the nine circles of hell and has emerged to meet up with Beatrice. Um, the style of rendering was done um, in a sort of Baroque, or I guess sort of a Baroque style, very ornate, and uh, incorporated motifs that were found in um, work that had been done by Jacopo Ligozzi. The Victorian style in some of the paintings that I've done is just a reflection again of some of the different um, renderings that I'll play with or themes that I'll touch on. Like the, the rendering or the, the style of a painting uh, is not because it's a signature style of mine, it's just because it has to do with the subject matter. Really the aesthetics of an image is, it's just more for not practical purposes, but some of it's just because I like, you know, it, it allows me to explore different aesthetics, but it's always got to really match up with whatever theme it is that I'm trying to touch on.